Second generation IIT versus a private B.Tech college whose legacy stands tall even against the old IITs and both of them belong to Rajasthan. Let's first quickly see how both of these are placed in the All India ranking. While IIT Jodhpur has maintained its position in NIRF ranking, Bits Pilani has climbed up four spots in 2023. But what could be the reason for this upgrade in ranking for BITS? Well, placements ought to be the most probable reason where last year's students received a median salary of around 18.2 lakhs. As per students' review on Shiksha.com, around 109 recruiters came for placements this year. The placement rate was 90% with around 30% of BTEC batch receiving PPOs during internships. Students also told us that this year the median salary increased by around 15% and the highest went up to almost 61 lakh per annum. IIT Jodhpur has now registered 65% more recruiters in Bits Pilani's comparison this year. 380 plus offers were made. 92% of students got placed and around 50% of the batch received PPOs. As per students' review, the highest salary at IIT Jodhpur this year also reached 61 lakh per annum. Students there clearly said that IITJ's placement figures for the year 2023 are not worth showing and that's why even on official websites you won't find anything. However, in 2022, the median BTEC salary at IIT Jodhpur was 15 lakh per annum, which was 15% increase over 2021. Now, BTEC is the flagship program at both these places, BTEC Computer Science to be precise. IIT Jodhpur offers other courses like BSc, MBA, MSc, MTech and even MSc, MTech dual degree. Bits Pilani on the other hand, apart from offering its BE degree, offers BPharm, MBA, MSc, ME and MPharm. Now, the number of specializations in their respective BE or BTEC degree might be the same. But there are some differences in the type of specialization that both these institutes offer. For example, you will find bioengineering, material engineering, AI and data science at IIT Jodhpur, which are absent at BITS. On the other hand, we have electronics and communication, electronics and instrumentation and manufacturing specializations that are available at BITS, which are nowhere to be seen at IIT Jodhpur. Not just this, at IIT Jodhpur, you will also get the option of choosing two minors along with your specialization. Additionally, dual degree programs like BTEC MTEC dual degree and BTEC MBA dual degree are in IITJ's arsenal as well, but this time IIT Jodhpur is not alone here offering a unique feature like dual degree. On the other hand, Bits Pilani also offers dual degree programs under its integrated first degree programs, which you can see the full details on your top right corner par aa rahe i button. Ko click kar. It's time now to know the total cost of doing engineering from both these places. Well, the total cost at IIT Jodhpur for BTEC is around 9.2 lakhs, but Bits, as you know, is a private college that charges around 2.7 times more than IITJ. It's clear that neither of these colleges are easy on your pockets, but it's time now to know where else is your money being spent while you study in these colleges. Bits Pilani is a legacy institute that has been around for 60 years now and is counted in the ranks of IIT B, D and K. Meanwhile, IIT Jodhpur is a relatively new institute with 2.6 times bigger campus area than Bits Pilani. So you can expect superior and far more modern facilities at IITJ, right? Well, as for the reviews given by students on Shiksha and other public platforms, IITJ has a good infrastructure, especially for recreational activities. There is a separate mess for vegetarians and non-vegetarians. You will see AC in every hostel room. Since the infra is new, Biometrics are used for attendance, so sadly there is no room for proxy and the minimum attendance policy of 85% is another pet peeve. But there is another side. Students also said that IITJ is like a jail, which is isolated from the city. The canteen serves overpriced food, students face water crisis now and then, and there is little to no emphasis on extracurricular activities. Bits Pilani seems to be in complete contrast to IITJ with its action-packed campus life. Students on public forum said that there is a club or society for everything. You will see events and activities going on throughout the calendar year at BITS. 
There are several fests, there is zero attendance policy, so students are not forced to attend lectures. They also said that since there is no reservation in bits, so you can only get to see creme de la creme there, which makes the campus environment quite competitive. It's time now to discuss how difficult it is to get into either of these colleges. Eligibility for IITJ is a minimum 60% score in 12th, whereas Bits Pilani asks for at least 75% marks in 12th in addition to 60% marks individually in each subject. As you know, JEE is the entrance exam for all IITs and so is the case for IITJ, whereas BITSAT is the exam for entry in BITS. As you can see on your screens, the closing cutoffs of all BTEC branches except CSE at IIT Jodhpur have increased over the last year, which means comparatively easier competition amongst other courses except CSE than previous years. But for CSE, the closing cutoff rank has narrowed down. So if you CSE taking a plan for CSE, then expect some competition. Things are polar opposite at Bits Pilani end, where you can see increasing competition at every single BTEC branch. As you can see on your screens, the BITSAT score for all branches has been on a rise. So no matter what branch you go for in BITS, you will get a lot of competition. Milega. Before jumping towards the overall rating, let's quickly take a look at the strength and the weaknesses of IIT Jodhpur and BITS Pilani. IIT Jodhpur is comparatively a new institute in front of a reputed name like BITS Pilani, which is also known as a private IIT among BTEC students. Despite its dwindling performance in placement, IITJ has maintained its position in the NIRF rankings. Although infrastructure is modern, but now students have to struggle with basic facilities. Ke liye struggle karna padta hai. Campus life is also lackluster here. But if you want to do an IIT with a B.Tech karna chahate hai, and academics is all that you care about, then IIT Jodhpur can be a good option for you. Bits Pilani has leaped four spots in NIRF this year. Placements ke mamle mein to Bits Pilani can never go wrong, jo ki iske start se clear hai. Various courses ke option bhi aapko yaha mil jayenge, but admission lena yaha is becoming tougher every year. So your preparation must be on top. Bits Pilani's campus life is also better in IITJ's comparison. Zero attendance policy, frequent events and fests ensure that non-academic life yaha ek dam exciting rahe. So if budget is not your concern and you can spend 25 lakh rupees on your BTEC, then BITS can be your first choice according to us. Shiksha.com par IITJ ko students ne diye hai 4.3 stars, whereas BITS pilani ko diye hai 4.4 stars. So this brings us to the end of this video. Do like, share and give us your valuable feedback for the next comparison. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel.